right, into a match five of our league against the Watch Wonder. Let's see how it goes. We're a uh, 3-1 right now. Let's see if we can finish up strong. On the draw with a kind of do-nothing hand, but I'm actually going to keep this. Uh, we have cantrips, we have land drops, we have mazes. Uh, that's some of the most important things you can do with this deck. Hey, look, it's like a land drop or a dragon. Probes us. Ponders. If they're on Storm, we would, of course, be in trouble. I don't know the format well enough uh, to know if they're on Storm or if they're just on, like, a, a, drag, a Sprite Dragon build. That's what I'm hoping. Um... I'm just going to revitalize right now. Make sure it happens. Get a little bit of F6 equity. Looks at our hand again. Looks at our hand again. Looks like they're about to Ancestral. Hey, that Scrabbling Claws. They missed. That's kind of nice. <coughs> Did they, they chose to shuffle and miss whatever they were doing. And save targets. So they'll be down to five cards, six, seven. This means that if they land drop, they can um, tap out to, okay, well they did land drop. Let's see, am I gonna cycle dragon? I think so. Now the question is, do I jam Cosmos Elixir? Grab Mistville Plains because I have tapped and untapped options here. Let's see. Do I want to jam Cosmos Elixir into open mana? I think I have time to wait. Or just Plains go. Just three mana. Frantic Search. We could let that resolve. Uh, probably should have played an untapped land here so I could pay a potential um, Thought Scouring themselves. Let's see, a couple bounces. I should have, so that I could pay a potential leak. I should have left this open. Okay, let's get one of our many um, uh, LD lands. That would be wonderful. Nope, that's okay. Let's see, Thawing Glacier is probably the play now, because if we chant them, we're going to do it just for one. It does look like they're a storm build. Now if they're on a, there's a field, that's just what we wanted. They're on a, a Decking you storm build or uh, made in the shade with lemonade. Uh, brain freeze. There you go. I don't even know if brain freeze is illegal. I, I um, it, it's pretty sad. Uh, how little I know about it this season. Okay, another boiler works. Activate our thawing glaciers. Start to get that card advantage engine online. Ruined Halo. I just don't like this. Uh, in theory, this Ruined Halo might be awesome, but I just don't know what they're on. Which, uh, by the way, is a big thing in this format. It really favors... The, the, life is Easy really favors you when you understand the meta. So I'm just trying to think what I could potentially name here. Um, I mean, I 
I guess I'll just pass. I, I, I can't think of anything and the clock is too relevant. I just burned a bunch of time. Seething song. Okay. Uh, I'll just chant you in response to that one. Invoke calamity. Well, that's a card, that's for sure. Graveyard. Or the planes. I guess I could name maybe like Grape Shot. I think I'm just going to play Cosmos Elixir. I, I mean, this is probably so wrong naming Grape Shot. I just don't know what to name there. And I got to name something. You got to actually use your cards. Scours themselves, mills over treasure cruise. That doesn't feel great, I'm sure. Frantic searches. Scenic songs. I mean, they're probably just going to invoke, and then. Uh, I just don't know, man. I guess if they, that's it, you, does this target, you may cast up to two, nope, doesn't target, so, crack this on, I don't even know if it's worth cracking on anything at this point, because they have double frantic search. They have the stern dismissal and the unsubstantiate return target spell or creature. Okay, so we're going to crack this on stern dismissal. It does, right? Yep. Crack this on stern dismissal. They can't get rid of Ruined Halo from their graveyard at minimum. And now we'll have six. Huh. Yeah, I mean, they're going to generate a bunch of mana. Like, I'm not feeling good, but... Oh, does it copy it too? What does this do? No, okay, they're just double frantic searching. Okay, I, I, I thought maybe it... discards grape shots. That's good. Now they probably just have repeal in their deck. Mind's desire. Yeah, I mean, couldn't stop that, of course. desire into desire so now they're playing their whole deck so now just uh do they have the capability to actually win let's find out brain freeze okay uh you could brain freeze me but i have the planes uh i mean i'll keep playing because I have the planes. I don't have the second white permanent, so it will actually have to be for enough, but I don't know that opponent has enough. Right now it's only 45 cards. 48 cards. I, I 
I don't know what 17 times 3 is in bad at math. Okay. So now it's the rest of their deck. Okay, so they can invoke Calamity. I don't know if that triggers Storm if they Brain Freeze it. So I guess we'll find that one out. If I, note, note, if I had a second white permanent, funny enough, then I would uh, just be able to Mist Veil Planes. Uh, so now it's up to 60. But I would just be able to Mist Veil Planes uh, at whatever I wanted. I would actually have Vamp Tutor. And I would Mist Veil Planes my second Mist Veil Planes. And then I would really be off to the races. But we'll see. I just have no idea. Let's see if they invoke first. This does feel like it's probably a good matchup. Just in that, um, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I have a lot of uh, name a card effects. I said, we'll find out. I, I just have no idea if Invoke can copy the, the brain freeze. But we have seen their entire deck. So here it is. Clip it. Uh, does it copy? Oh, and then they, what does it say? If it would be put. I hit concede game, just not doing it. That was weird. Okay, so we want uh, all of these. Four Blossoming Calm, four Silence, four Nevermore. And we'll cut our worst wraths, which are Shatter the Skies, I guess. Um, leave suns. Yeah, I mean, we just have a lot of chaff. Is the truth probably condemns? Ousts, funny enough, aren't that bad. We could potentially oust our own guys to like cantrip with wall, and then uh, oust. It also gains us some life in theory. We're gonna cut endless horizon because we don't actually want to trim all of our lands out, and then I guess we'll cut days as well. Nevermore Silence, Blossoming Calm. So now what we're trying to do versus them is some combination of these cards. So it's like, oh, you have so much creature removal, which is true. But we do have 26 main deck cards that are our good answers. So we're trying to put together two of them. And then we have a lot of cantrips to uh, get us to them. Not saying we're in great shape. Um... I did need to name Grape Shot, as it turns out, because I would they would have been able to storm me out. Huh. Let's see, Disenchant. Um, if I would have played another White Permanent, then I couldn't. Then I then I would have been in better shape, because I would have been able to Mist Veil Planes on my own upkeep. So let's submit. I didn't see anything for Disenchant. I probably should have brought it in anyway. Make sure we have uh, an upkeep stop on ourselves. Yes, we want to go first. This hand does nothing. This hand is a keep. This hand is a keep. Uh, it's very weird to say, but uh, without the white source, but we're just one white away from multiple... Um, we have three hate spells, so... It does feel like a keep. Now we could just get blown out by not drawing white sources here, of course, but with these three, I think it's it's a higher up thing than going to five. And we'll pay the price. Hopefully they're a little bit slower out of the gates. 
Hopefully they're a little bit slower out of the gates. <laughs> well, we have our hate pieces, we just don't have white source. And they see it, and now they're like, oh, do I do I just go for it? And the answer is yes, of course. <sighs> we need to draw running white sources immediately. Good that they missed their land drop. Hey, there's a white source. It's tapped, but it's a white source. And they missed their land drop, so... Just brain freeze out oh, themselves, themselves. And I was like, what just happened there? Okay, so still just looking for running white sources. Hey, got there. Starting to feel pretend, not even pretend okay, just not pretend like auto dead. Cycle this. Hide the fact that we have that field. Cast up to... Wow, so invokes can invoke invokes. That's neat. Okay. That was uh, just what we were trying to do. They're discarding again. Oof. So I play Gideon's Intervention. I name Invoke Calamity. I think that's the play. No, it's got to be. Yeah, Invoke Calamity. I thought about naming desire, but if they desire, I'm going to try to just silence them in response, I guess. So they really have to have like a lot going on there. <sighs> that was a that was a definitely an inflection point cuz they're going to have four mana here. I could have just tried to shut down their mana. Okay, great, great. That they just uh that they So what did they put in their hand? What looks like, uh, what did it say? Treasure cruise and another pieces. So they have pieces, I just accidentally X'd it off. And just field them now. Treasure Cruise, they still have the pieces. Or did they discard it? I don't know. There, now I'm... This is another pieces just disappear. Another pieces in the yard. I can't imagine that they would go again. That's, a uh, that's bold. And then they're, they have 12 cards in hand. Quite a few. Surprised they didn't have a land drop. Man, draw draw seven and in turn and miss all your lands is pretty brutal. Hoping to hit a land drop here. If I don't, I, I, I kinda don't want to play the compass. Because if I play the compass, then then I'm in this spot where they're gonna like spell pierce me. Okay, now I think I could play the compass because I can pay a pierce and then still have another uh, have another potential activation. Uh, pay a pierce and then have another spell. Here I'll grab a planes. I'm probably just gonna tech edge that off right now. 
keep them choked a little bit. Also prevents my compass from flipping, which I think is what I want there. Discard uh, the Wrath. Now I don't have to worry about pierces so much. Now it's actual hard counters. Not worth playing Cosmos Elixirs. Not for a few turns. I just had so much interaction. I also only have a single red. Frantic search is fine. Not sure why they floated the extra blue. So they've now discarded almost all of their mind's desires. I'm really not sure why they tapped the extra blue there. They didn't, okay, I don't know. <sighs> Bounces that. And just say, okay, I'll recast if it matters. Frantic search again. got a little lucky that they stumbled a bit. It looks like they run a very low land count, but I could be wrong. Let's see, they have 14. Oh, I guess I could look at that screenshot and find out. I don't know where the screenshot is. Oh, well. Not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, the disenchants don't look like they're necessary at all. <sighs> Condemns are Better than Wraths, it really... No. On the off chance that they have Empty the Goblins. I don't know if Empty is legal. It's funny. I just... Normally I'm really on top of this, but I just don't know if Empty is legal to uh, worry about it. Because if it is legal, then I want Wraths. If it's not, of course I don't. Empty the Warrens. Did I say empty the goblins? Empty the Warrens. Uh, it is legal this season. My phone's telling me. So yeah, you want Wraths over Condemns then. On the off chance. I mean, I didn't see anything that would suggest that they had them. But um, it's much better, of course, to have Wraths. Shatters. So I guess at that point we'll also cut the ousts because we'd rather just have, again, uh, sweepers instead of not sweepers. Declaration of the Stone, another nice sweeper in that regard. Condemn. Uh, okay, let's go. I mean, 
Okay, this is one relevant this is one relevant it doesn't have a cantrip o-ring doesn't do much other than be, become a permanent I don't know that they're gonna just go for it ah uh, we're gonna mulligan I don't love this but I'm actually gonna keep this over that this is the cantrips and it gained some life, which somehow they're they're down to five. Maybe uh maybe I could have kept that other one, but didn't. Hey, never didn't have it, right? So we're already at the same hand that we were previous turn, except now we have uh except now we also have some cantrips. So this one turned out better for the moment. Not gonna play claws here. I'll play it in a, in a turn. Right now, I just wanna gain a little life, can't trip a little bit. Hey, it's uh, really closing in on that previous hand. I wanna play on to inversion. I won't because I want to be able to pay for a spell pier should I need to. Chose to shuffle, went to bottom. Second piece of hate is pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna sit on Tech Edge for one more turn. We'll just scrabble in claws here. There's an argument not to play the claws because we could have then paid Pierce and had the chant up, but uh, like we could have both and paid, but now the opponent knows what's up, so. They know they need two pieces to make it through, which maybe they have, which maybe they have. They could also just never play land four, I guess. But we'll uh, put them in that weird position. Oh man, second tech edge is so good. We can hold priority and double tech edge if they play a land. I'll also get another scrappling claws out, really try to lean on the uh, the um the ancestrals. One, two, three, four. Frantic search. And if they play a land, we get to blow up two of their lands. Although this this could just be a, a treasure cruise, get it while the getting's good. <gasps> uh, wow, opponent. I Oh no, I screwed up so badly there. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I, um... I didn't have a stop. I, I, I okayed it by accident. Oh boy, does that stink. I could have just blown up both of their Is It Boiler works. And then we wouldn't even be playing Magic, I don't think. And they would have to bounce a land and not have either Boiler works. That would have been insane. Can't believe that just happened. That was unfortunate. Okay. Okay. That was unfortunate. What you gonna do? 
scrapling claws is nice just leaving them around number one they do eat the graveyard and then also by uh leaving them i get to make sure that that invoke doesn't ever get like good so they've already frantic searched three times Okay, let's get rid of some Mizzen Boiler Works. Oh, come on. Did I just do this again? I, I didn't hold control correctly, so if they hit okay, oh man. I'm just playing about, uh, about as well as a donkey would. Needed to be holding control there. right now one two three I just need more lands as I th th throw lands away but uh they keep building I'll just keep eating graveyard every turn that passes they get to re-sculpt but I get to deprive them of this resource Let's see, so if I go three, then I have one, two, three, four. Nevermore would name. What would Nevermore even name? Probably Desire. Or maybe it's Invoke still. One, two, three. Force them to use a counter or something. Like, that's kind of okay. Is what I was worried about. I pay. I'm just not gonna pay. So now I have a wrath for a potential goblin action and uh, Thawing Glacier's great draw in helping to ensure land drops. Pieces of the puzzle. Doesn't get that. What are they putting in their hand? This is hard with double scrabbling claws out. So they put... They don't take the brain free. What did they put? Mountain spell pierce brain freeze so they don't get these. Okay. Upkeep, let's start eating again. A thing you can do that I didn't do, but if, if you're playing a little late game action you can activate your thawing glacier on your own upkeep oh his grape shot and his brain freeze are now in the graveyard that's hard 
Seething Song. Say okay. Is that this invoke? I think it is. I think we let this invoke resolve. I almost don't care. Let's see, they frantic search. Do I just want to eat the grape shot and the brain freeze? If I eat grape shot, eat brain freeze. Let's just do that. No, I don't even think I need to do that right now. Let's see. They pick, um, what does this do? Turn a creature and enchantment, that doesn't matter. I could just eat grape shot, eat brain freeze. That's greedy. I don't think I would need to do that now. I could eat frantic search, eat frantic search. No, that's gotta be worse. Let's see, you may cast up to two instants or sorceries, a total mana value six or less without paying. So they're just gonna end up with a lot of mana with the frantic search. Frantic searches. If I just chant here, I just chant here. I chant here. They, uh, Let's see. They frantic search, they frantic search. What do their counter spells look like, I wonder? Like, the only thing I really care about is hard counters, right? They frantic search. I mean, I'm fairly sure. So if I eat the two, I bet that they don't have another one. I'll just chant them. I mean, that maybe that was wrong. But uh, time is on my side with these uh, Scrabbling Claws too. Also, if I can get white permanence in play. Not that I will, but if I can get white permanence in play. I do get to... Uh... Wow, eats the frantic search. That's the thing I, that's the thing I thought that... Wow, I, I don't understand. Remember I said I wanted white permanence? I mean, I guess that's technically a white permanent. <laughs> okay, that's one too, but I can't cast it, actually. Which is good, because... Uh... Opponent left the grape shot in the brain freeze. Wow, so getting more minds desires out. I'm gonna play this Cosmos Elixir. It's a little greedy, but I want to keep hitting land drops. Hey, Tech Edge, great. One ponder. It's nice to be fighting opponent's graveyard in this way. The seething song.
think this is just desire, so I don't want to do anything yet. Yeah. Desire for three. Like, I'm gonna lose if it's like temporal fissure in their deck. Temporal fissure plus gobos, I guess. I'll blossoming calm right now, though. That way they can't. Uh... Also, I can do something funny with thawing glacier with it. So he has to probe himself, which is sure, you probe yourself. Nothing. In, oh, he has a stern dismissal target. They. I keep saying he. Keep doing that. Treasure cruise. Oh, right. I'm like, what are they? Exile. They don't have to exile. Are they out of frantic searches? I don't know. Uh. This has been a good match either way. It's been interesting. Chose not to bounce my wall. Hey, it's like a win. Grab planes. Have rebound again. Have whatever again. They still have two of the invokes. So I might tech edge. I think I'm going to tech edge just to uh, take them off an easy triple red. And I will birth because it's a second white permanent. So I can now, uh, so I have hex proof right now. Oh, didn't use it. I said, oh, I get to use my, uh, my planes and I just didn't do it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay. I'm going to declaration off my own wall. my clue. I realize I have plenty of land drops, so I'll just play this. Don't need to find Glacier still. Draw yet another card. Opponent's down to eight cards in deck. This is like desire for one. Desires for one. That's probably just what they wanted, funny enough. Up to two, invoke. Invoke. Oh no, I just got rid of my second white permanent. That's funny. They probably have like dispel. Blossoming Calm again. <laughs> In response. Okay. I'll eat your brain freeze. Now, I don't think I have to worry about eating Grape Shot is the thing. I'm on 33. Can they possibly play 33 cards? I don't know. With the with the counter that returns it, let's just not. Let's just not mess around. Okay, and there we go. So I guess there were no um I guess we got the only two conditions. So we 4 one um played against this storm brew, this storm deck. The mono black deck got twice. I think it was the same opponent where, where it was a clock race. Won one of those, lost one of those. Felt that was a pretty good matchup um, against the, the graveyard deck. That one went fast. 
And we played against one other deck, um, Cloud Post. So four one against those. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of those fixes to this deck. I'm gonna add the Urza's Factories. Uh, if um, Exploration Map is legal, I might add some number of those just because we can toolbox uh, a lot of different lands, um, including the, the the wastelands, including the fogs, or rather mazes, uh, including the the factory. Um, in theory, I could put a cycle land in. I'm not going to. You don't want lands that enter tapped. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed playing with you. Uh, you uh, so there we go.